Okay, here's a quick video on how to remove the standard Evo X handbrake uh, cover so that you can install one of these carbon fiber items that you can pick up off eBay. Um, I really like the feel of these carbon fiber ones. It's a good mod and I would um, recommend doing it. It um, uh, tidies up the interior appearance of your car. It'll match a number of carbon fiber pieces that you might want to put on your car and I, I would suggest to um, give it a go. They can sell anywhere from perhaps somewhere like 30 to 100 Australian dollars depending on what seller you go to. There might be some variances to the fit and finish but I got this one for probably about 50 or 60 dollars delivered and it's pretty good. So the way that you go about removing this is there's no glue, there's no screws, um, so as you can see, that's that's what it's like from factory, handbrake up, handbrake down, normal push button procedure to make the handbrake work. So to take this off, I think that if I recall from when I had it from factory, it may have had a tiny bit of glue on it, which makes it quite to um, uh, quite hard to remove. But all you've got to do is just give it some force to remove. So just turn it like that and off it comes. So once you actually get that cover off, um, you simply just have to get the new item, you slot it over, and then there's two grub screws that you use an Allen key to tighten up. So just a closer look at what that looks like here, there's a, there's a grub screw that would go in here, so there's a thread. Same thing on the other side. And so when you buy these, it'll come with two little grub screws. Make sure you don't lose them because if you lose them, you probably would not be able to get these so easily. You can get them on eBay for sure, but you would probably have to go down to your local um, cheap sort of auto shop. So in Australia, we've got one called Super Cheap Auto. Not really sure what it's called in America. My understanding is it's called O'Reilly's, but um, you'll know what it's called if you've got a car and you're into modifying. So, best thing to do is just load that up, put your finger on it so it does not get lost. Pop that on there, and then put the thread in. Put that grub screw in that thread. Start turning. There's not much um, movement left or right because where that um, where the face of the handbrake meets the base of the handbrake, it's flat. So, can't really go wrong. Put that in, don't ridiculously over tighten it, just a little bit. Same thing again. Put this on this side. Keep your finger on that so it doesn't get lost. So that's that, that's installed now. So simple as that, handbrake still works the same way. You haven't done anything to the actual handbrake button, which I'll make a video for after this and upload because I also want to show how you can have some fun with a drift button in an Evo X. But it works nice, nice install, and that's all there is to it.